we may choose to spend our day the very best way to greet new day is with some you know peace awareness clarity of mind and there's that sense of solidity and groundedness the feeling it's rather like the the dolls you see the look at that long look the weight is at the bottom of the doll so even if it's knocked over knocked from side to side it always regains its balance because it has that sense of ballast and weight in its center and the regular meditation practice particularly in the morning first thing in the morning starts to give you that sense of groundedness solidity inner resilience strength and so when you receive the knocks and blows and problems of everyday life you bounce back you bounce back because you've developed this inner resources to deal with the world and experiences in the world you're able to keep a calm bright even mind if you have seen um, vehicles mostly tend to be military vehicles but ones which have sophisticated computer systems that they can cover very difficult terrain desert terrain rocky terrain and the computer is constantly recalibrating the, the balance of the vehicle so the vehicle is always steady stable even though the, the track, the road that's following is very rocky. This is something we can develop from meditation. A sense of inner equilibrium, inner balance, despite what's going on. But initially, you have to be patient, being willing to put in the work, just as if you're learning to drive a car, learning to play a musical instrument, any skill comes about through practice. And the development of meditation it's an inner discipline one in which we are willing to give up just the small everyday pleasures of enjoying memories imagination fantasies we're not just allowing our mind to drift off into dull, sleepy states of mind are taking responsibility for the present moment and learning how to apply attention consistently to an object developing awareness is developing the ability to be awake to life to really present to your life rather than being swayed and pushed around by thoughts and emotions 
having some perspective on the nature of thoughts and emotions, neither repressing or necessarily expressing, but knowing things for what they are. We make so many wrong choices in our lives because we lack this kind of wakefulness, awareness. And developing this kind of inner brightness of mind, providing the foundation for intelligent decision-making, intelligent choice. So you take the unit of meditation as one single breath, then it's a lot more approachable, not so intimidating. You make the, your goal to be completely awake and aware for one whole in-breath and one whole out-breath. And then you try again, a new breath, a new beginning. Now one way of looking at the breath would be to imagine that we're a doctor and we have a very, perhaps in the countryside somewhere, and a very long line of patients, all with rather similar illnesses. And if you're a good doctor, you give absolute respect, attention to every single patient, even though they may look similar, they may dress similar, they may have the same kind of illness, but you, you give them their humanity. You give them that kind of respect. And so if you take every single breath, even though breaths are rather similar, not so much to distinguish them or to make them exciting or interesting, um, but if you can give that kind of attention and respect to a single breath. And then uh, you start to gain a new breath, like a doctor with a new patient. And if your mind is becoming little bit more peaceful, having just short intervals of mindfulness, brightness, clarity of mind. And notice how wonderful that is. You, know, you have access to the most exalted, blissful, mental states simply by renouncing your fascination and obsession with the moods and emotions that pass through your mind. and the future and everything irrelevant to the present activity, the stronger your mind becomes, clearer your mind becomes. You're able to see things more clearly. So the more mindful you are, the stiller your mind is, it's like you have a candle flame and in the beginning
beginning of candle flames in the wind. It's the candle in the wind, blowing and guttering. And if you have a candle in the wind, the light is not useful light. You can't use that light to work, to read, to do anything very much. But if you take that candle out of the wind, it becomes very still and very bright. And you can use that candle uh, to illuminate whatever you want to do. So in the practice of meditation, um, we're comparing the mind to a, a flame, a candle flame. And through the recollection, attention to the breath, it's as if we take the candle out of the wind. It becomes still and bright and clear. And we begin to see, see everything as it actually is, without the filters of desire and fear. <coughs> 